Yo, what's up, Chaos TV? What's up, Chaos TV family? It's your boy, Chaos Hero, here again, once again, with another figure review. And today, people, we're going to be doing the figure, uh, figure review tour review on the Titan Masters Wolf Wire and. Monix or Monox or Monix. So, Mon so I think his name is Monso. It's the headmaster, I believe. Um, so basically, here he is. Um, I did not have the box for it because when I got this, I got this a long time ago. So, duly, uh, long story short, the box is long gone somewhere. But here he is um, as a whole. The figure is pretty decent. It's really, really solid. I like how the figure just uh, sits with everything. Um, it's a perfect beast mode, I believe, in one of my favorite beast transformation. Even in beast wars and beast machines, it was always either the wolf or like the rhino. So Rhinox was my favorite, and the uh, yeah, not so cool. So cool was a close one. Um, but uh, here he is. Um, as anything. Now, I, I, I want to say vehicle mode because of the cockpit right here. If you can't see, I'm going to take this part out. Here's Monox right here. Um, this cockpit is right here. Um, let's see if I can get to open right there. And it's a cockpit that you, know, you put you know, Monox in, sit him in there. Close that down. There he goes. Right in there. So I don't know where to call it his vehicle mode or his beast mode, but either way, I'm just gonna call it his beast mode. You just be on the safe side, because I don't know. If you call it vehicle mode, just let me know, know in the comments below. Or something like that. I don't know. Um, but other than that, let's get into the figure. We got some posability. Um, shoulders are on a ball joint. So we can pose up now. Uh, pose up the full 360. Uh, basically, it's a ball joint right here. So we can do a slight split on the front paws, back paws. Uh, more of a ball joint, I believe. So it's a good swivel. Um, just transformation. Inch joint. Torso cannot move at all unless it's a transformation. Um, front head, well, the head, uh, side to side, can move side to side. That uh, can work up in transformation, but it um, can do the full 60 degrees. as well. Um, mouth can open this far and close. I like the fact that this is the only figure in its beast mode, well, I know of that still does the whole pipe lighting effect, in which I actually do kind of like about some Transformers figures. And it's something that I've always adored about various Transformers figures with the pipe lighting effect, and this is a rare sight to see right here. But um, as far as size comparison is in his beast mode... We're going to kind of do a very, very unfair comparison to his vehicle mode. Uh, well, protagonist, main protagonist, uh, counterpart. Oh, and I forgot to also mention that, you know, Wolfwire is a Decepticon, unfortunately, even though he's my favorite. Um, is the Titan's Return Optimus Prime uh, Power Master um, mode. And... It's, he's very small, well, he's very short, but not short to where it's like, okay, I'm comfortably short. Oh, <laughs> I dropped, uh, Wolf Wire's weapon on the ground, I'm gonna pick it up. Um, as far as anything else, he's a really good figure, and lengthwise, <clears throat> he's not really that long either, but like I said, he's a pretty decent sized figure. Um... Where I got him from was actually, um, uh, I didn't get him offline, unlike I did uh, most of my uh, Titans Return uh, figures. I got him actually out of Walgreens while I was there picking up some medicine for me and my um, uh, my missus. 
Um, and sh- and uh, was getting some NyQuil or something like that, I believe it was DayQuil, I don't know. And I noticed that guy in the Twitch, and I'm like, you know what, I have to have him. He looks boss, he looks awesome, and it's a wolf mode. I'm definitely trying to get him. So I ended up getting him. Um, also, like every other Titan Master, he comes with a limited edition card. None of them call, come in holographic, I guess, I don't know. If you got one holographic, let me know, because I would really like to know. Um, they have his tech specs with Wolfwire and Monop and Mon, uh, Monsa, Monso, I think its name is, Mon, Exo, I think it is, is pronounced, I believe, I'm not sure, let me know in the comments below, or hit me up on my Facebook page at Chaos TV, um, but yeah, every Titan Turn Mask goes with a edition card, and what I do with mine, I, uh, since I am a TCG player regardless, I always put cards regardless to come with toys, or Figurines, I always put them in sleeves and, you know, put them on a book, so. Keep yours, throw it away, I don't care. But me, I do mine too different. So, let's get into his transformation. So, the simple parts of his transformation goes, take his gun off, uh, as you sit it to the side, um, take his Titan Master, and you basically fold it into his head mode. Just set that to the side right there. And so, then what we're going to do is, first, we're going to take the tail, set that to the side as well. And we're going to kind of bring this head up right here. Bring these down. Um, it's a very simple beast mode, I believe. It's like one of the most simplest designs I've ever done. And trust me, that I've done some very complicated beast modes. Yes, I do remember when beast machines and beast wars were a thing. And those were a nightmare. Yeah, I guess that's... Yeah, so you take this part, you... Pull it up and you stick it into this little peg right here. And you take that flap and set it down. Yeah, kind of straightened out his legs a little bit. Oop. Do not do that. <laughs> that is not a part of the transformation. Um, <laughs> you really kind of peg him right back in here. Um, so you turn this leg around, basically. Uh, more so or less that way and basically you bring the thigh part down and just and basically that's supposed to form his new leg you just stand this up and bring the other thigh down and there you go forms his other new leg now normally um, you're supposed to do is supposed to turn this foot around bring this part of the heel around Thus making Wolfwire's newfound, well, feet. That's what I've seen in the transformation uh, manual. Uh, but to me, it kind of looks a little too dorky, in my opinion. Um, but that's what it does. Uh, but let's continue with the transformation. You bring the head all the way back, right here, the wolf head. It doesn't really hide anywhere, you just peg it right there. It just stays in there the best way it can. Um... You, uh, it's going to be kind of hard and arduous, but you take the wrists, you try to open the wrist, but gently do it. Um, bring the paws back if you want to. This is what I do. I rotate them. Uh, and then I try gently, but surely, and it's, trust me, it's a pain in the butt, or the diode, as they say. Um, and you bring the wrist, and you bring the arm out. There you go. It's the first hand. Left arm, the same thing, uh, bring it back, turn it, and gently open this part right here, sorry about that, and uh, if you got any thumbnails or anything like that, just try to bring it out as gently as possible. And bring that in, there you go. There is Wolfwire's body. Uh, just a second. There's Wolfwire's body. And we're going to bring in the Headmaster, which is Monox. And there he goes. There's Monox. Now, like I said before, oh, sorry. You can do it that way with the feet. Um, I know it's supposed to give like some color contrast to it, 
to make the figure not looking completely yellow. Um, take the big gun, put it in here. Um, and take uh, the tail, and it becomes basically a sword. Yay! Because, you know, we love swords. It's awesome. Um, <clears throat> and here he is. Here's Wolfwire and his headmaster, Maddox. Um, overall, it's a pretty decent figure. I don't mind it. Design of it is very reminiscent of the card itself, so, I mean, it's a plus. And even then, uh, it's a really solid figure. Now, like I said about the feet, here's my only tidbit is when I do the feet, I like to keep it full-on beast mode. So I turn the feet around a little and just keep the claws as they are because to me, that just looks a lot better. I don't know if you guys prefer it the other way, but if for those of you that are you know, either collecting it or getting it, that's how I usually do my beast mode. It looks To me, it looks a lot better. Um... But let's do some size comparisons, comparisons with this other uh, Titan Return Headmasters. So here he is with his uh, other Titan Return counterparts, uh, Power Master Optimus Prime, uh, Highbrow. I am missing one of the guns to Highbrow. It's somewhere in this house somewhere. Um, Chrome Dome. And Brainstorm, which was actually one of the original uh, Headmasters I actually remembered uh, from Fall of Cybertron uh, when I was playing a video game. And that was the first time I ever, was ever introduced to Headmasters, and I was pretty much intrigued with their design and their, uh, their abilities. Um, as you can see, he's uh, the only real figure that actually dwarfs all of them, basically, is your boy over here, Power Master Optimus Prime. Uh, but he's relatively the same size. Um, I'd say he's an uh, inch shorter, a uh, hair shorter than um, uh, Brainstorm and uh, <clears throat> Brainstorm and uh, Highbrow. Due to the fact that I've always kind of noticed that more, um, uh, how can I say, aviator bots. Um, that Basically what I mean by aviator bots is basically anything that can transform into a spaceship, ship, helicopter, hovercraft of any kind, Hover, hovercraft of any kind, <laughs> my apologies, uh, is a slightly tad bit taller than anyone's vehicle mode or sometimes beast mode, depending on the figure. Um, but overall, this is a really decent, solid figure. I'd suggest it's a really, I suggest you go and buy it. Um, buy it on Amazon, it's probably like 14 20 bucks, I guess, depending on where you buy it from. Uh, I bought this from uh, <clears throat> Walgreens, like I told you before, and it was a pretty decent deal. It's a great figure. It goes with the collection, even though if you're a Decepticon fan or uh, Autobot fan and you love the Titans Return series and you like the way uh, you know Hasbro's going with this, by all means, get the figure. It's really worth it. Um, like I said before, if I didn't show you in the previous, um, if you haven't seen the other figure reviews, I did a figure, uh, toy review on Brainstorm and Optimus, so go check those out, probably down in the playlist, or subscribe, and you can go to my playlist, and you can probably see the figure reviews on those two. I will be doing one on Chrome Dome and, um, Highbrow, um, as well as various other Transformers figures. If you're not into the Titans Return series, I do have a video on the Masterpiece uh, series uh, Transformers with Wheeljack. That's the only figure I have. Um, if you're not into the Masterpiece figuring review, go check out the Alternator series where I did Skids as the Scion edition. Um, but other than that, this is your boy Chaos Hero, and I'm out. Peace. Also, be sure to stay tuned sometime in the further future where I will be doing a figuring review on not only Chrome Dome, but as well as Highbrow, which are the last Titan, uh, Titans Return figures I will ever do, unfortunately, due to the fact that the rest of the Titan uh, Return figures are getting a little too expensive, in my opinion. Um, I may do some Masterpiece, but until then, like I said, I digress, um, I will be doing a figuring on this little lady right here, and you'll see what I mean by this little lady. If you ever seen the Transformers Pop, uh, Prime series on Netflix when it was out on Netflix uh, a couple years ago, then you know what this uh, uh, Transformer is. Um, if you want to guess, put it down in the comments below. If not, then by all means, you'll see it uh, when I get to do uh, when I get around to doing the review of it. 
Like I said, hobby-wise, I'm Chaos, and once again, I'm out. Love you.